whatsoever you do this month, whatsoever you do this quarter, whatsoever you do this year, strive to drink the more. Through the word of God, yeah. you can win a state victor mm. on daily basis. Overcome this challenge, this trouble, and see who God wants us to be. You can go far in life with the troubles, with the challenges, with adversity. God has never created any man without a purpose or not. Hello viewers today, good day. Today we have Moment of Bliss on TV Ray with another new topic today. And the topic is the power in praise and worship. Before we start, let us pray. Dear Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We worship your holy name. We come before you today to learn of you, Lord. We ask, O oh God, for the impartation of your word in our heart today. And we ask for the help of the Holy Spirit in every areas of our life, in understanding and all. We give you all the glory and honor. Thank you for this moment. It is indeed a blissful moment for us. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Today we are talking about the power in, the, in praise and worship. Today still remain a mystery. And the miracles of the breakthrough power and the presence of God. When we worship, hallelujah. When we worship, we invite God, God's presence. A good thing is that there's victory in praise. And we worship him in truth. The Bible says we worship him in truth and in spirit. Worshiping the Lord, we are affirming that we believe in God's word. That the word of God is true. We affirm that the word of God is true. Hallelujah. And it's rooted in our hearts. Praise God. Amen. And the good thing about God, our lovely father, heavenly father, he deserves to be worshipped. He deserves to be praised. No wonder David utilized it a lot. Praise God. In worshipping and praising God for his goodness, for his love, for his kindness, for what he has done for us. For Jesus, bringing Jesus to die for our sins. Praise God. God deserves to be worshipped. Hallelujah. Deserves to be glorified. Deserves to be given all the honor. And being a very lovely father, Yet we will, he deserves to be worshipped. And still, in our worship and praise, he still bless us. He still give us victory in situations. Hallelujah. That means that even in our situations, in our challenges, in something that may occur in our life or in our expectation, or we want to or we're looking for ideas in anything. Praise God. We can go to God in worship. We can go to God in praise. And there will be victory. Praise God. Let's take, for example, Joshua, Joshua chapter 1, 6. Well, if you read from 1 to 7, 27, you will see how God instructed Joshua to bring out instruments to worship him, to praise him. And during the praise and worship, during the showers and playing of instruments, the words of Jericho fall down flat. That means that our, 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 our problems, our situation, we fall down flat when we worship God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter what, it will fall down flat in the name of God. Disappointment will fall down flat. Fears, weaknesses, depression, sadness, sickness, it will fall down flat when we worship our Lord Jesus Christ. We worship our God and our spirit will be lifted and God will be praised. Hallelujah. Amen. Today I want to encourage us that we can worship God Anywhere, in your car, you can worship him, cooking, showering, praise God. God is not expecting our worship to, to be like our voice, to be the perfect voice in the old world. What God wants is that we worship him in truth and in spirit. Is that not a lovely God who is not expecting the excellent voice from you, but wanting you to worship him deep from your heart and believing in the word of God? Praise God. Amen. There's victory in worship. I had one time, I had a dream. First it was, first it was a word. He said, my daughter, worship me. And then another one, my, he said, my daughter, praise me. And another one, I had, that, this was a dream. I heard the word, he said, my children are not worshipping me the more. Are not worshipping me more. Because, and he said one thing that I don't, I will never forget. And I will share it. So that everyone could utilize the victory in worship. 
He said, there is victory in worship. I cannot forget that dream. And I'm encouraging us today that we should worship God the more. There's victory in worship. And God deserves to be worshipped. He deserves to be honored. We we'll round up with Psalm chapter 150, verse 1 to 6. It says, Praise the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty heaven, praise him for his mighty deed, praise him according to his excellent greatness, praise him with trumpet sound, praise him with, with lute and harps, praise him with tabernacles and dance, praise him with strings and pipe, praise him with sounding cybers. Praise him with loud clashing cybers. Praise God. Say, praise him with anything. Praise him with your hand. Dance, worship him. Wherever you are, cultivate the habit of worshiping God. Let your environment be worshiping. Oh, you are adoring God and God is doing something for you on the other side. Hallelujah. Isn't that not a wonderful thing? Don't we have a lovely father to worship? When we are worshiping him, praising him, he's busy fighting our battles for us. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I hope from today we will keep worshiping God. Even if you have been worshiping God before, put more effort. Worship God in more. It will lift up your spirit and bring down God's presence and make him take actions in our situation. And victory is sure for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your love and kindness in our life. We thank you because as we worship you, you are always there to fight all our battles, to help us out in every difficult situation, in every ugly situation. We can really trust in you. We can trust in your love. Thank you, Lord, for this grace to trust in you and the grace to worship you because you deserve to be worshipped. We bless you, Father, because as everyone will be worshipping, you, dear Father, will be working for us in our circumstances. You will enter our circumstances in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Are you blessed with this topic today, with this word today? You can leave me a message or you can contact me for prayer or anything on the information showing on the screen. Until then, see you again next week. God bless you. Whatsoever you do this month, whatsoever you do this quarter, whatsoever you do this year, strive to drink the more. Through the word of God, yeah. you can live as a victor mm. on a daily basis. Overcome this challenge, this trouble, and see who God wants us to do. You can go far in life with the troubles, with the challenges, with adversity. God has never created any man without a purpose or not.